Hey everyone, uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As the title suggests, we're going to be running you through how to use Power Editor, uh, Facebook dark posts, and really just how to set up your ads so that they're successful in both using existing posts and yeah, just going to give you a good, good overview of the whole thing. So first and foremost, we need to be looking through uh, the browser Google Chrome. Reason being, a lot of the back end of Facebook doesn't operate correctly without using Google Chrome. So if you don't have that, pause the video, make sure you go and download Google Chrome as your preferred browser, and then uh, jump back in. So once you're in with Google Chrome and you've signed into your Facebook account, all you need to do is search up the top for Power Editor. You're looking for the blue button that looks like this. Click on that, and that will take you right through to the back end of Facebook. And this is where we can do a lot of more detailed advertising as well as, as I say, dark posts, which in essence means you can create an ad that is specifically targeted to people that you want, but if they went to your business page, uh, they couldn't find it. So once we're in here, you're gonna see three main parts, campaigns, advert sets, and adverts. So I'm gonna run you through step by step. So first up, we just wanna hit the create campaign button, which will take you to a page like this. And what you want to click on is use guided creation. Just a much simpler way to, to go through. It'll load, load a page like this where you can actually set your marketing objective. There's three key areas for your marketing objective. There's awareness, consideration, and conversion. So depending on the type of business you are and what sort of ads you want to run um, will depend on what, in, what objective you want. So I'll quickly run through on brand awareness. Obviously you're looking to increase awareness for your brand by reaching people who are more likely to be interested in it. So very much a top of, top of mind awareness post. You may not be selling anything, you just want to be known. Local awareness is, is a way that you can promote your business to people who are nearby. So you set your, your uh, address for your business or premises and then you can set a kilometer radius around that so again, very niche marketing, very targeted to drive awareness that, hey, I'm here, come and do business. And lastly is the reach. So show your advert to the maximum number of people. So this is great if you're doing a, a competition or you really just want as many people as possible to see your post. Consideration is where you also spend a lot of time. Traffic is when you're trying to send people to a destination on or off Facebook. So a classic uh, link ad where you're sending them from Facebook to your website more so in the lines of doing sales. Engagement, this is where you'll do, um, if you've ever hit the blue boost button, this is what you're doing. You're, you're doing engagement and post engagement. This is also where you can select page likes, event responses or offer claims. So depending on what you're, what you're wanting to do. App installs if you have an app, which not everyone would have, um, but if you do, you can, you can start there as well. And then lastly is video views and lead generation. So video views is obviously optimized for those that are gonna watch the video. Lead generation is lead ads. We won't go into that in this one. And lastly, if you're an e-commerce store, e store, you can do conversions. Where you can drive people to your website to take actions, uh, product catalog sales and store visits for those in bricks and mortar location. But for this purpose of this video, I wanna show you traffic. So you click traffic, you can rename your campaign so we're just gonna call this uh, traffic test for this video and hit the continue button. Next is we, you'll notice here that the campaign is set. So now we wanna create your advert set. And this is where you can create your targeted advertising. I'm based in Toowoomba, as you know, so obviously I don't wanna to market to everyone in Australia. So I'll delete that out and remove it down to Toowoomba. And I might reduce the kilometer radius down to more targeted. So this is different for everyone, but essentially you're gonna put your, your cities, your town, your states, the countries that you wanna to drive to. Once your location is set, it's simply putting in your age bracket. So whatever is gonna suit best for you. Um, I'm gonna do an ad for my co-working space, Habitat. So most of the time business people are gonna be say 20 to 40, that would most likely use the space and then you can choose whether it's men or women, or all. Lastly, you wanna do your detailed targeting, and this is where I want you to pause the video and just play around. You can literally type in anything that you want. So we're doing some ads before for parents. 
So you can target parents with adult children, teenagers, preteens, all that sort of stuff. They're the demographics. You can target people that have just been engaged for their relationship status. You can target people that have recently traveled or frequent travelers or frequent international travelers or were just returned. Like it, Facebook knows everything about you. But I'm going to, for this purpose, going to do small business owners as a behavior. I'm going to do Facebook page admins. Interested in small business. And I'm actually going to do Facebook payments higher than average spend. And on the right hand side here, you'll start to get some figures here, which is your potential reach versus your daily reach on both Facebook and Instagram. Scroll down to placements. <coughs> Excuse me. This is where you can choose to do either Instagram, which will naturally be defaulted, but for those who are wondering, this is how you do Instagram advertising. You set your daily budget, and most importantly, a start and end date. So I might run this ad for four days, spending $80. Hit the continue button, the targeting's done. Now there's a few different types of ads you can do. You can do a carousel ad, you can do a single image ad, a single video ad, a slideshow or a canvas. I'm gonna show you two. Um, single image for this case. And you'll see at the top here that there's two different formats to create, whether you're doing a existing post or creating a new advert. So if we're creating an exit, if you, if you click use existing post up the top, select the page you want to work with. You're simply finding a page post that you've done in the past. And obviously this wouldn't be a, a dark post meaning that everyone can see it. If they went to my page, they'll be able to see it. But if I hit a new post, I'm building it from scratch and therefore is a dark post, meaning it's going out to those, those uh, people I targeted here before, but if they went to my business page, they wouldn't be able to find it. So I select my page, Habitat Coworking. I put in the website that I want to send them to. It'll pre-fill in some information. Habitat Coworking Toowoomba. It'll pre-fill some information, which is great. Your headline responds to this part here, so Habitat Coworking. So I might change that to Boardroom Hire Toowoomba. Habitat Coworking. The text is the part here. So looking for a space to host your next business meeting. So that's all good, but you can uh, you can change that to whatever you may be. Uh, sorry, that's your news feed link description is here. Looking for a space to host your next business meeting. That's just pulled from my website, but if yours isn't accurate here, you can change it to whatever you want. And then the text is the part above your ad. Now, you always need to put a headline in for your, your comments. So I'll put my trademark, boardroom hire Toowoomba. Enter, enter, looking for a space to host next business meeting. Have a uh, co-working is situated in the Toowoomba CBD and is the perfect boardroom available for your next meeting. Click through on the link below. If you want to here as well, you can add in your additional links because again, we want to put make it as easy for people to click through at any given time. And that's an ad, I'm happy with that. That's, that's what we call a single image ad, meaning it's the one big image here with all of the different information. It's got my headline here, it's got my paragraph here which gives context. They've got a link here I'm happy with my uh, headline. I'm happy with my newsfeed link description because it's already here. We're good to go. And if you were happy with that ad, you'd hit the review order button and that would be live. If we're going to select carousel, you're changing from the one big image 
which is 1200 by 628, you'll see here, to 800 by 800. The best place I know of to do any of your graphic design is canva.com. Feel free to pause the video, create your free account. You notice this one here, 800 by 800, is the perfect carousel image. Again, you'd want to select your page that you're advertising from if you've got multiple. Put in the website that you're sending them to. We'll see if it can scrape any images. Which it didn't work. So we'll just manually put those images in. So a thousand by 1080 by 1080 is if you want the full image. Um, 800 by 800 also scales relatively well, it's squares, but you can, in Canva, you can use custom dimensions here, 1080 by 1080. And once again, feel free to pause this video as you go through and play around and check it all out, because you can upload any images that you like. Let's say we're promoting this uh, beautiful kitchen, you can easily scale that to size and download. But for the purpose of this video, let's see if we can grab anything from the image library. You just simply go through, select all the images, or you'd upload them from the download. So that's that we'll do three for this one. So I've got my three different images from the carousel that they can slide through. I want to put in the uh, Headline for each one, and you'll notice there's a character limit on each. Boardroom hired Toowoomba, starting from 97. Destination URL, we're going to put in here, obviously, the So we'd go through and you can, you can easily select all of them. And if you get, take the time to get creative, you can go through and check that all out. Pretty straightforward though. This is great for e-commerce websites. Some reason it's not liking my link. Ah, because it's put an under as a product. Which is all good, but you get the point. You go through, you fill it all out, headlines, descriptions, you get that all get that all set. Display links, and again, you hit the review order. Again, you've got to be careful about how much text you put over this image. It can no, no longer be more than 20% text to image ratio. So it's pretty straightforward. Another variation is a single video, so you can upload your video, or you can select one that you've already got, that you've already uploaded. Let's uh, find a good image out of the thumbnail. Maybe leave the bike on there. And you'll see that it, it grabs a lot of the previous text that we did for the single one, but it means you can have an, a, a video there that auto plays. So there's plenty of different options for you for the traffic. You can create a slideshow. Canvas is a whole nother story, but simply, hopefully that uh, trust that helps you go through the process and know what you need to do to set it all up, to change your text, which is above the image, the headline, which is this part here, and then obviously there's all your different variants. So single image also includes your uh, newsfeed link description here. So if I see here where it says looking for a space to host your next business meeting, if we put some text in here, you notice it changes. Once you're happy with everything, again, it's just a review order button. That would be a dark post. <coughs> you 
use existing post. Would not be a dark post because it's already on your page. Um, but yeah, so play around with canva.com, get all your dimensions right, play with those uh, images, make sure they're correct, and get your text and lays out, layouts all done perfectly, and uh, that'll drive some more traffic to your website and your page, and yeah, from there on. But any, any way I can and help you, serve you, whatever it may be, just feel free to head to steveclayton.com. You'll see some contact information uh, off to the side, bunch of vlogs, which is also... Uh, a lot of free content there for you. A bunch of books here that you can get access to if you need. And the same at equipconsulting.com.au. You can also get in touch with us there. So any way we can help you, uh, just call out to us and we'd be glad to help you. Cheers. See you on the next video.